Hi everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you wanna see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. Today, I have for you another fun alternative project using the April 2020 Paper Pumpkin Kit, My Wonderful Family. If you are new to Paper Pumpkin, it is a monthly subscription craft kit, which includes everything you need to make the design project. If you want to see everything that was in the box, you can watch my unboxing video and I will link it up here in the corner. Don't miss next month's kit. It will include colors from the new 2020-2022 in colors. All my Paper Pumpkin subscribers receive an exclusive kit designed by me. It includes all the paper and embellishments to create two cards of one design. And the link to subscribe is in the description box below. So this is my alternative card that I came up with. And it's got some really fun colors. And we're using mainly the stamp set from the kit. So I'll just show you what the stamp set looks like. So we're focusing on this treetop leaf stamp set and we're using it with some fun ink colors and then cutting them out with circles to get this fun pattern for the background of our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that now. So I have three strips. So each strip is just wide enough for the treetop stamp to fit the long way. And so I think that's like two and three fourths inches by eight and a half inches. And then I'm using some really fun colors. I'm gonna use Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, and Gorgeous Grape. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these. I'm going to want 12 um, treetop stamps. And so, because I have five different colors, some of them I will stamp in three times and some I will stamp two times. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one three times. And you're just going to go right down that strip, stamping those that tree, trop, tree top. So now I need to clean my stamp. I'm going to use the chamois and then get the next color. This one is the Mango Melody and I'm going to go ahead and stamp one down here. I don't have enough room to do a fifth one so I'm going to get a second strip and do this another time. Okay, clean it. The next color will be Granny Apple Green, and I'm gonna do this one three times. Okay. Clean that. And then the blue we're using is Coastal Cabana. And get my next strip. I'm gonna do this one two times. And then the last color is Gorgeous Grape. Clean this. And stamp that twice. Now I'm going to take each one of these strips and I'm gonna use this circle. And this is a circle die from the layering circle dies. And this die set comes with um, 16 different dies and there are circles as well as scallop circles. And I'm using the one that gives me 
um, a circle that is five, one and five eighths inches across. Now, if you have a punch that's one and a half inches or one and a quarter, um, that size would totally work and probably be faster. So you just need to find something that's going to go, you can't go any wider than the width of your tree top. And so this is just what I was, this is what I have in my craft room. So I'm going to take this to the big shot and I'm going to go ahead and cut out all 12 tree tops with a circle die. So I have finished cutting out all the circles and now I'm going to add them to a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then we're going to trim this down to create to the size that we want. So I'm just gonna start by adding some circles in a diagonal across the card. So I'm gonna start with the blue one, then the green, yellow or orange and red. Now, um, if you've seen me do pattern backgrounds before, you know this is how I like to start and then I will work my way out. It just gives me a nice um, beginning to patterns and then I don't get crammed in the middle. Oh, that's not the color I wanted. Okay, so then I'm gonna do purple and maybe another orange and a pink in the corner and then i've got a green coming off the edge right here and then another pink that blue right about here and then another purple down in the corner or on the edge and then my last one will be a green one here in the corner okay so you'll notice that I do have some coming off the edges here and so that's kind of the first step is to create a straight edge so the way I do this is I just line up on this side. My So my paper cutter has these lines. So I'm just lining up the straight edge on one side. And so now I know that this is gonna be straight when I cut it. And then I'll trim it down to the size I want. Okay, so I just removed all those pieces and then I'm going to go ahead and turn it. And so we're going to be cutting this down a little bit. So I'm just, I'm not too worried about where I cut if it's right on that line. And so I'm just going to move it down so that I cut a nice clean line. And then remove that. So before I make my next cut, I just want to talk about how it's going to sit on our card. So I've got a black mat behind it and the black mat is four inches by five and a quarter. And so I want this piece to be down just slightly by one eighth. So we're going to find four inches and then move it down one eighth. So now it is three and seven eighths. And then we're gonna cut that part off. And it looks like I miss, I pulled off some of this Melon Mambo circle. So I'm gonna add some more adhesive and then just line it up and put it down. And then this next one, we will do one eight, we'll do it at five and one eighth inches, which um, is one eighth smaller than the mat, which is five and one fourth inches. Okay, so there's our pattern piece using the tree top stamp from the kit. So I've got my black mat, which is four inches by five and a quarter, and I'm just going to add this pattern piece 
to the top of the black mat. And it should just give me a small little border, about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. And then if you want to just make sure all those pieces stay really nicely in place, you can use a bone folder and just apply some pressure to just get that adhesive to really stick to the paper. So I've got another piece of Whisper White cardstock, and this is where I'm going to stamp my greeting. Now you can use any greeting that you have. I'm going to be using two different stamp sets. The first one is Label Me Bold, and I wanted to use this Happy Birthday. And then the friend comes from Seriously the Best, and it's just this bottom part of the Hello Friend stamp. So I've got my embossing buddy, and I like to use this before I use the Versamark ink so I don't get any embossing powder stuck to places that I don't want. I've got my Versamark ink and I'm going to just go ahead and ink up happy birthday and stamp that down here on the bottom or on the side. And then I've got my hello friend and I'm not too worried about the hello part. I just want the friend. So I ink that up. Whoop. And now I can get my black powder, embossing powder, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the areas and then tap off any excess. And I'm really not too worried about um, any excess because I will be fussy cutting these out. Grab a heat tool and heat it up. And I like to heat it from the bottom. I just think it gives me a smoother finish. Okay, so once that has cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut these out. And I'm just gonna trim, so there's about a sixteenth of an inch around this happy birthday image. And then I'm going to just fussy cut out the word friend. And I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch me um, do it at regular speed because I can be a little bit slow. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished that. And now I'm going to add these to my card. So I have a piece of about 15 inches of black twine and this comes from the Country Club combo pack. And so there are, um, I think, three other colors in that pack. I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back of my element, um, just near the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and attach one end probably about one and a half inches from the bottom and then wrap that around two times and make sure it's even put some good pressure down on that twine so it doesn't come off we're going to add the word friend with some dimensionals and I'm just using the minis and just kind of putting two on the ends and then one in the middle just to support that since it's just kind of flimsy. And then that just goes on the left with the bottom part of the words covering up the twine just slightly. And then this happy birthday I can add with glue dots or snail, whatever you have. And that's just going to get, go right above friend a little bit to the left of the F and line that up so it's nice and even. Then I've got a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock for my card base and it's just your normal size which is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then I'm just taking a bone folder to make that crease nice and sharp. And then I'm gonna add this 
with dimensionals to my card base. If you're nervous about those ends coming off, you can always just put a dimensional over them that they don't come off the card. And then just go ahead and center that on your card base. There should be a little big, a little bit of a bigger border around that. Just like that. So that card is all done. I think it's got a really fun feeling and you would have no idea that this original stamp we used came from a tree stamp. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Visit creativechelsea.com for more information about Paper Pumpkin and to start getting your monthly kit. Have a creative day. Bye.